Today, our communities face a growing number of transportation challenges. As traffic volumes grow and congestion worsens, motorists, pedestrians, and cyclists confront greater risks at intersections. We need balanced solutions that improve safety and keep people moving. At the Federal Highway Administration, our first priority is safety, and our mission is to improve mobility for all users of our nation's highways. In support of these goals, we've been evaluating innovative intersection designs for many years. Where they've been built, travelers save time, agencies save money, and communities benefit from safer facilities. One innovative intersection design, the Diverging Diamond Interchange, implements unimpeded left turns onto the highway by directing the traffic flow to cross over to the other side of the interchange and then cross back before leaving the interchange. Alternative intersections are, are worth considering because they deliver more for less. They, they get more cars through the same spaces than a conventional intersection and they deliver better safety than a conventional intersection. At many intersections, the critical question is how to address left turns. How they are treated has an impact on the efficiency of the intersection and can reduce a crash type that tends to be quite severe. Missouri opened the first Diverging Diamond Interchange, DDI, in the United States in 2009. And several states have since adopted the DDI to ease traffic congestion at busy interchanges. At first glance, the DDI looks different than the traditional freeway interchange, with crossover locations at each end of the bridge. This may seem unusual, but these crossover points are actually the reason why the DDI functions so smoothly. They allow for better traffic flow and simpler left turns between the interchange and the freeway. Since driving the DDI is a little different than what most of us are used to, let's take a closer look at how a DDI works. It's as simple as one, two, three. One, a DDI uses the same basic diamond interchange layout that is common in the United States. It consists of two entrance ramps and two exit ramps. Two, all of the right turns in a DDI look and work the same way as they would in a typical diamond interchange. Whether turning right from the crossroad to the entrance ramp or turning right from the exit ramp to the crossroad, Drivers keep to the right side of the road or ramp. 3. The crossover intersections are what make DDIs different than typical diamonds. They are actually very intuitive. The crossovers are designed to gently transition or diverge traffic from the right side of the road to the left side of the road. Drivers going straight cross over a second time, back to the right side of the roadway. Drivers turning left from an exit ramp or to an entrance ramp are already on the left side of the road. They no longer cross paths with other traffic, a major safety advantage that results in more efficient operations. Guide signs and pavement markings are used throughout the interchange to direct drivers. It's that simple. The diverging diamond interchange boasts a number of safety improvements. It cuts the number of potential vehicle conflict points in half. Not only are you decreasing the number of conflict points overall, you're also decreasing the speed at which those conflicts happen. Uh, most of the accidents that you can have, most of the conflicts that you can have now are sideswiped. And that can be mitigated for with proper signal design, with making sure that you have the right sight lines and things like that. Good design principles, signage, and pavement markings make driving through a DDI simple and intuitive. So no longer are you going through an open space like in a diamond where you can get hit from the right, the left, and the front. But every time you go through an opening in a DDI, you're only conflicting with one path at a time. And that makes a huge difference. Although DDIs are usually deployed at locations with heavy traffic volumes, DDIs have proven to be beneficial to pedestrians and cyclists as well. Pedestrians can be accommodated either on the median in between the two crossovers or along the side of the road. After a year that the first one was built, we hired a consultant to look at the performance and actually look through it, look at the crashes, and compare those five years previous 
to when we opened it up, and we found that accidents were reduced by 53 percent. A Missouri DOT survey showed that 87 percent of drivers feel safer in the new Springfield DDI compared to the previous diamond interchange. The commentary that I get when I interview people is, so how was it? And they say, what? I didn't even notice there was anything different. Diverging diamond interchanges can usually be built on the existing bridge deck when retrofitted. For new interchanges, fewer lanes are required, so there is less bridge structure and need for right-of-way. DDIs have been implemented in several states in a variety of roadway conditions. They can be built with the freeway over or under the crossroad, and at crossroads with as few as two lanes or as many as ten. The intended use of a DDI is to accommodate those heavy left turns. At the higher traffic volumes, the DDI has less delays, fewer stops, reduced stop times, and shorter queue lengths compared to the conventional diamond interchanges. Delays were reduced by 15 to 60 percent, and throughput was increased by 10 to 30 percent. With its simple, unopposed left turns, efficient two-phase operation, narrower bridge structure width, lower costs, fewer conflict points, and dramatically increased throughput, the diverging diamond interchange is a welcome addition to the nation's roadways. The Federal Highway Administration encourages communities and agencies to consider the diverging diamond interchange to improve the efficiency and safety of existing interchanges as well as an option for new interchanges. For more information about the diverging diamond interchange and other innovative intersection designs, please visit safety.fhwa.dot.gov.